Hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I am doing a super, super exciting video. So today I'm going to be doing an updated shelf tour for my K-pop shelves to end off the 2023 year. And as always, I am so, so excited. This is definitely a long time coming. I posted a complete room tour back in January of this year. And I've since added a new shelf and I've changed things around a little bit. Obviously we had a full year of comebacks as well. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna go through all of my shelves and I'll kind of show you what is on each one and how I organize my album collection. So yeah, I'll go ahead and leave everything down below. I'm actually working on finishing up a card right now, so I'll make it a goal to have it done by the time I post this video. Um, and I'll have a section on the card, which is gonna have like everything, like all the supplies I use. It's like a huge master list to like everything you see in my videos. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a section for like my shelves. So if you're interested in like the stands that I use, the things I use to protect my signed albums and where my shelves themselves are from, you can go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure it's linked in the description box down below. Also, this isn't going to be a room tour um, because my room hasn't really changed a ton since last year. So if you're interested to see how my full room is laid out, you can go ahead and check out the video I posted in January of this year. I might do another one in like January or February of next year, but I don't plan on posting another room tour before the year ends. Um, but if you're interested in one, definitely let me know. Otherwise, you can check out the video from January. I'll go ahead and link that up above right now. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So this is as tall as my tripod goes. You'll have to bear with me for this top shelf here. But this is the first shelf you see when you walk into my room. Um, if you're like looking towards where the door is, this is the first shelf that you see. So on the top of this shelf, I have my Hong Jung signed albums. Um, I have his signed albums from the past three eras. And I unfortunately missed the pre-order period for the signed albums for their newest album that just came out in December. I'm really sad about that. I'm hoping I can find um, like somebody who has an extra to buy off of them. So if you have an extra Hong Jung signed album, preferably from the Z version, but like I'm really not that picky um, and you're willing to sell it for not like $100, um, <laughs> let me know. Message me on my trade sale Instagram. I am on a buying hiatus till January, but I definitely really, really want um, a Hong Jung signed album to add to this little collection I have here. So that is everything I have on that top shelf there. All right, so this top shelf here is my Wano shelf. So I do keep Wano's solo music separate from my Monstex collection just because I feel like it looks really good together. So yeah, we'll go ahead and go through it. There's a couple layers to this shelf, so let's go ahead and get started. So in the front here, we have a couple of standy things. These are from his Japanese pop-up shop that I think happened around like Blue Letter era. It was somewhere between Love Sin 2 and Blue Letter. And then back there, that um, thermal bottle that also is from his Japanese pop-up shop. Over here, we have my Wano signed Rush album. Um, this I got from M-Wave back during Rush era. I did join a group order for it and I think I pulled Shonu originally from the group order, but I was able to trade him for Wano, which was very exciting because at the time I was only collecting like Wano for the majority of Monstax things. And then over here we have all of the cup sleeves from cup sleeve events that I've attended. I don't know when I decided that Wano shelf was like the cup sleeve shelf, but, but it's been like that for a little bit. So yes behind here obviously i have all of wano's albums i am missing the the third copy or the third version of bittersweet because i used it to make one of my photo card binder covers thinking it would be really easy to replace but i haven't been able to find one to replace it yet i also have this young Wan button set from the connect tour so this was a gift from a friend of mine used to buy as young Wan and collect young Wan, and when she stopped collecting young Wan, to focus on other groups. Um, she gave me a bunch of her Hyungwon stuff. Back behind the step over here, I do have my Wano 2023 Seasons Greetings. If you don't know, he did release a two-year one last year before he enlisted in the military. So I bought that. So I already have his 2024 calendar, which is super exciting that I'm gonna have a calendar on January 1st. Yes, definitely super excited to have that. 
This next shelf is my signed Wano album shelf. So I do have a signed album from every single era except Love Sin 2 because I did not do a fan sign during Love Sin 2. So it does kind of bother me that I don't have one. I really do regret not doing a fan sign back then, but I think it's really, really cool to have a collection like this and to have a space to display all of my like Wano specific fan sign albums. And then if you know that guy over there's name, um, you get a veteran discount but he was a gift from the same friend who gave me the Hyungwon button set, which is really exciting. I didn't have any Mongji stuff before that, so yes, love that. Okay, so this next shelf is my 17 shelf. So I did downsize my 17 album collection a smidge when I moved back to the city um, back at the end of, oh gosh, when was it? 2021, I want to say, um, when I moved into this apartment. Yeah, I do want to expand it again. I was just like, I don't need every copy or every version of 17's albums anymore. And outside of Stray Kids and Monstax, they are my top boy group. So I do kind of want to get back to having all versions of their albums again. So there's some older albums that I will need to be replacing. Luckily, Pledis reprinted everything, so it shouldn't be that difficult. So we just have all of my 17 albums. I also have a couple of Kinos over here. And then I have Joshua and S. Coops' signed Sector 17 albums. Okay, so this is the rest of my 17 album collection and then we have some more signed albums down here so i have my ot7 signed infinite album which was a birthday present i got myself a long time ago or maybe it was a graduation present it might have been a present i got myself when i got my masters which was like the same time as my birthday so maybe it was a combo gift. And then I also have the rest of my AT signed albums down here. I'm thinking about maybe rehoming the rest of my AT signed albums and just getting Hong Jung signed album from going forward. But I don't know because I really like my signed albums, but I feel like, I don't know, I only display like my Hong Jung ones at the top. So now I'm just kind of wondering if maybe I should rehome my other ones. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, that is this shelf. It's kind of difficult for me to get a good angle on this bottom shelf, but we won't spend too much time here. But this shelf is for just a lot of larger DVDs and photo books and things that I don't feel like fit on other shelves. I also have my extra duality LP and my extra Kihyun photo books down here. I need to sell those because I don't need two copies of duality and three copies of Kihyun's photo book. So I'll probably post those in the new year. But yeah, this is just like a random shelf full of things <laughs> that I feel like don't have a place anywhere else. Okay, once again, it's a little hard to get the a good angle of the top of my shelves, but yeah, so this shelf has all of my like K-pop related plushies on it. I set this up recently because my cats like to steal, especially like the little guys, like these guys, my cats love to steal them. And like, if they if I put them up here, they can't reach them. Um, and then I have like a cute little display of them. For a while they were on my bed and then I was like, I really don't want this many plushies on my bed anymore. So they're all up here. Um, you can't see Hamgom, but he is, he's back there. <laughs> so I have the two Tukgoms there. And then I also have the, the little treasure plushies and then the Monstax plushies. I was only gonna buy Kihans, but I absolutely loved Chuhans. So I had to get the mini doll for him but I am planning on just getting like the keychains for everybody, but when they dropped Ju's um, character, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I actually forgot that I ordered that, but then I saw other people getting it and I was like so sad that I didn't get one. And then it showed up in my Facebook package and I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, Past Carolyn did a good thing. <laughs> Usually if I'm like, Past Carolyn, what did you buy? But this time I was like, Past Carolyn, you did great. Um, so yeah, that is this shelf. Okay, so this next shelf is one of my first jewel case shelves. So another thing I really wanted when I started setting up these shelves, really wanted um, to have a space for just jewel cases. And I didn't want like a jewel case shelf because I've owned one of those before and it just wasn't my vibe. But anyways, I really like the adjustable shelves on the Billy shelves from Ikea because I was able to do something like this. 
Um, so these jewel cases are for Twice, Ive, and Stray Kids, I believe are the only groups up there because they are on this shelf. Well, Twice isn't on this shelf, but Ive and Stray Kids are. Um, and I just decided to put the, the digi packs here. And you might be like, Carolyn, what are you gonna do when you run out of room? Well, you can push those back and create a whole new row. So I'm not worried about it. I have so much space for these digi packs and I love that they don't take up much space on like my regular shelves because these groups like I've been um, twice in Stray Kids, I do buy all member versions for their Korean releases. So it does take up quite a bit of space. So I'm very excited that I have plenty of room for this collection to grow. So this next shelf is my Stray Kids shelf. This entire shelf is actually new from my room tour. Um, so if you go back and watch my room tour, you won't see this shelf at all here. And I got it because I really wanted to display my Stray Kids collection because I felt like I didn't really have a proper space to do that. So that was the main inspiration behind building this shelf. Yeah, this is my Stray Kids collection. I do have a couple of other things on here such as Wolf Chen and then I have the Wolf Chen binder. I don't know where else to put it so it just kind of hangs there for right now. I am on a mission to have all versions of Stray Kids' Korean releases. If you don't know, I've been collecting Stray Kids since mixtape era. I just didn't alt them until like right before No Easy Era. Well, not right before. It was probably like four months before No Easy Era. So in the past, when I bought Stray Kids albums, the only version I let myself buy was like well, I let myself buy one version, but when they released the limited versions, I started buying the limited versions. And the only era I didn't do that for was In Life because I just ended up joining a friend's group order for In Life era and for a fan sign. And I joined their group order. So I'm on a mission. I will pop up my template right here if you want to see my progress. With the comeback that just happened, I am kind of taking a pause <laughs> on working on older albums, but I do hope to finish it before Stray Kids' next Korean comeback. If they drop something Japanese between now and then, that doesn't count. I, my goal is before the next Korean comeback, which hopefully won't be until like late spring, early summer, is what I'm hoping, but it's Stray Kids, so we never know. Um, I definitely have a lot of work to do on their Japanese releases as well. I don't have all versions for their Japanese releases, but I'm just trying to finish Korea for right now. And then maybe the second half of the year we can work on finishing old Japanese albums. Have any extras of those albums that I just popped up on screen? You can let me know. I'd be happy to buy them from you. I don't really need photo cards, except maybe I'm gonna start collecting Changbin's older cards in 2024. But <laughs> that's my Stray Kids shelf. I absolutely adore it. And I have plans on how I'm gonna like expand it once it reaches max capacity, which like technically it's at currently, but it's fine. Okay, so this is the next shelf. This shelf was my other main reason for building this shelf. Um, besides needing a spot for my Stray Kids collection, I really wanted to have a way to display and store all of my like platform sized albums and Smini sized albums and Clave and whatever else people call it. <laughs> but yeah, so I got this board from Ikea and it really was not that expensive at all and it is removable it's not attached to the back here i definitely have plans to like rearrange it if i ever get more i mean i'm definitely going to get more like smitties and stuff eventually but yeah it's just nice to have a little place and then most of the like accessories i had because i already have a pegboard that's on my desk so i didn't really have to buy any new accessories which was nice and then i also have like weaver's versions and kinos over here and then I also have this really cute photo of Felix, which was a freebie. And then of course I have to have a couple pictures of S. Coops because he is in fact the love of my life. But yeah, I just really love this solution. I think it's really nice to have a place to store these kinds of items because before I was just like, what do I do with them? But I really like this. I like how it's removable. So if I ever rearrange my shelves, I don't have to like work around this shelf being the storage shelf, you know, I can always change it around if need be. But yeah, that's everything for this shelf. Okay, so this next shelf is my ZB1 and IVE shelf. So when I was building this shelf, I was like, I need to put other groups on here besides just like stray kids. So I decided to put IVE here because they are a group that I collect all versions of their albums for. And then I also decided to put ZB1 here 
mostly because I'm a clown <laughs> and I have really fallen for ZB1 this year. I absolutely adore them and I definitely plan to collect them pretty thoroughly moving forward. I mean, I did buy their season's greetings for next year and I'm going to treasure every minute that they are a group together. I just have all of my ZB1 albums here and then I also have my Matthew Daikon magazine photo book thing that I bought because I'm a clown and then my member versions. Um, they did just announce a Japanese debut next year and I I don't know what I want to collect for it yet because I literally just saw that somebody I follow is doing a group order for it um, but I don't really know like the contents <laughs> and like what's going on with the Japanese release so we got to do some digging and then I have my limited edition of Ives first full length album over here and then I have all of their other albums over here minus the play version which you saw above and minus the digipack versions because those are on the top shelf here. Yeah I absolutely love this shelf and I probably will move them one shelf down um, when I run out of room on the Stray Kids shelf and put the rest of the Stray Kids albums here but for right now I'm happy with them being right here. I'm gonna try and show these last two shelves together because there isn't that much to say about them. These last two shelves just have some of my larger A5 binders and then also my ZB1 binder and I'll explain why that's over here in a second. I do have my Prism Platinum binders at the top here. I really want to get another deluxe binder next year and I don't know what color I want. I think I want two deluxe binders. I think I want the green one. I saw it in somebody's like photo card sorting video the other day and I was like the green one's really pretty but the red one's also really pretty. I don't know. Let me know what your favorite color is down below besides these two because obviously I already have those colors. And then I have my Meow Cafe ones at the bottom here. Yeah, these are for Ive and then this last one is for Stray Kids and then this one is for Infinite. So yeah, I have ZB1 over here as well because my other shelves that we're gonna go to next um, there, the binders over there are full, so there wasn't any room for ZB1, so I just ended up putting them here, but I will be moving a couple of binders over there, I think, um, maybe into, like, my closet or something, because they're full and I won't be, like, accessing them for sorting photo card videos that often anymore, so I think that would be a good idea to move them, and so that, because the main reason I have these binders on shelves is so it's easy to access for sorting photo card videos, but if I'm not accessing them that frequently, I probably can store the binders elsewhere. Anyways, that's it for this shelf. Okay, so this next set of shelves is my favorite, arguably, set of shelves in my apartment. When I moved here, if you know what my old apartment looked like, if you were watching back then, um, I did some like week in the life of a group order manager vlogs in that apartment, but <laughs> basically I lived in a studio apartment, so... I didn't have any walls in between like my bedroom and my kitchen and anything. So when I moved into this apartment, it's a multi-bedroom apartment because I do live with a roommate. I was really excited to have four walls and to kind of like separate my collection. And I was like, one of my dreams has always been to have like a big corner shelf like this. Um, my other dream is to have like a full wall shelf that's the next apartment i don't know when i'm moving but that's the next apartment um is i want to have like a whole wall of just like shelves together i think that would look so so cool but yeah so that was the main goal here um and i'm really excited i was able to make this work i built this whole thing by myself and the ikea manual definitely said to use two people for it yeah let's go ahead and get into this shelf Okay, so this first shelf at the top here is my jewel case size item shelf. Just like this shelf that I just showed you, the Stray Kids shelf, the main purpose of this shelf is to store all of my jewel case sized items, but also I wanted to make them look nice. So this one is kind of like a rainbow concept, and these are the ones that aren't in jewel cases. So like you can see, I have a lot of red velvet albums here, even though those are in jewel cases, but they have a slip cover, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Okay, so the next shelf is my first Monstax shelf. So this has everything from Trespass era all the way to the beginning of One of a Kind. So yeah, I've been collecting all versions of Monstax albums since their debut. <laughs> Unlike Stray Kids, I really don't ever need to go back and get anything because I just have been buying everything since it came out. 
there are a couple of albums that are mixed up like i have shine forever over by trespass and then i have both versions of rush farther along i don't know i just think it looks a little better this way but i do have everything here between those eras and then eventually they all kind of got <laughs> starting to look the same at least for a little bit but yeah not a lot going on here also i have seven copies of follow because i have all seven member covers or all seven photo books for the members and then i have six copies of one of a kind the other four are on another shelf you'll see later and that's because there were like six posters and other larger inclusions i tend to keep as many copies as there are like large inclusions that i want to have anything that i'm not storing in my binder so this next shelf is my first signed album shelf this shelf is for all of my fan signed albums but it also has other albums here so in the front here we have my Kihan signed youth album, my one of a kind OT5 signed album because there really aren't any OT6 signed promos from this era because Shonu went on hiatus pretty early on into the era. Then I have my one of a kind Kihan album and then my reason Kihan album. And then if we remove those albums and look behind here, I need to get like a stand or something. I haven't found anything that fits all the way across the shelves perfectly. So I'm still on the lookout for that. But I have my Min Hyuk fan sign album from Fatal Love, and then my Juhun one from Shape of Love, my OT6 Fatal Love promo, Kihan Shape of Love fan sign album. Also, Juhun's has a sticky note on it because it was the only time, actually really like the only time that I haven't won MMT. Well, I did win MMT for Kihan, but I did K-Town for Juhun, and I won and K-Town they sign, or at least they used to, I don't know if they still do, they signed your first and last name, and I post content on the internet, and yeah, so I covered my last name with a sticky note. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next two shelves together, just because they kind of go together. So these are the start of my rainbow shelves. Basically, I decided to take all of the rest of the albums that I own and turn them into rainbows because I thought that that would be fun and it would look cute. And it was, and it does look cute. I started off this with doing just girl groups at the top and boy groups at the bottom, but I found that I don't really care that much about them being intermingled. So I kind of just put albums wherever they look nice now. But yeah, I have a ton of groups here. As you can see, I have like New Jeans, Twice, 127, A Pink, La Seraphim, all the NCTs, ATs, BTS, TXT. I'm trying to see if there's anything I miss. Infinites down there, Shiny, all the things I own is like that. So yeah, these are really, really pretty shelves. And I definitely plan to keep them like this as long as I possibly can. So this shelf at the top is my Monstax jewel case shelf. So these are all of my Monstax jewel cases. So yeah, this also doesn't include Wano's jewel cases because all of Wano's jewel cases are on his shelf over there. Um, but eventually, if when his discography increases when he gets back from the military, if I run out of room on that shelf, I'll probably move them over here. So next, right in the middle of my two Monstax album shelves, I have the display shelf, as I like to call it. So I use this shelf to display whatever the most recent comeback is from Monstax or any subunits or soloists. Yeah, right now it is set to show new Hyungwon, but I think Changyun's gonna release a new album in the first half of next year, and then Shonu is also planning to release a solo album. So whenever one of those things happen, <laughs> I will switch out this display and store away these albums um, over on this shelf over here. Um, and then I'll display the newest release over here. But yeah, for right now, it's all the versions of The Unseen by Shonu and Hyungwon. So I have all the Digipack, both the Digipack versions, their Kino version, and then this is also a pin set from KCON LA. They had like a KCON package they did with M-Wave. Um, so it came with like M-Wave photo cards and then also the pin set, so yeah. In the middle of my two signed album shelves, I have my English album shelf. So this has all of my stuff from The Dreaming and All About Love. I think this is a really pretty shelf. I think All About Love and The Dreaming really look nice together on a shelf. Yeah, I have all of the Digipack versions for both releases, all of the photo book versions, 
and then I have two different LP versions for the dreaming. I don't have an LP for All About Love, which is very sad, but I have the Barnes and Noble and the Walmart exclusive for the dreaming. So yeah, this is a really pretty shelf. I think if they were to release a third full length out or a third American album, which I really hope they do someday because I adore their US albums so much. <laughs> um, I think they're really, really good. Um, but if they were to release a third one, then I would probably just find try to find a way for it to fit on the shelf. I feel like there's still room here, room to work with. So I feel like we could do it. Okay, so this middle section has all of my pre-reboot treasure albums. The, re the reboot treasure albums are like within the other shelves. Um, and then we also have the second part to my what was just a boy group and has since turned into more than a boy group shelf. So yeah, I put all of the treasure albums together because all the ones up until they kind of like changed the colors of the albums, they fit really nicely together on the shelf and I really like the way that they look together. And then yeah, just a continuation of the rainbow down there. Not too much to say about that, but it just has, it has everybody down there. From NCT, we've got some Golden Child, BTS, shiny infinite we've got it all down there okay so this is my probably most unorganized shelf on this shelf which is this jewel case shelf and i really need to sit down and go through it at some point and i just have not made it there in my life but yeah this just has everything that's in a jewel case over here we've got a lot of nct versions i do have like jungwoo's perfume um version over here his box version and then there's also like a couple of treasure digipacks that found their way over here so i definitely do need to do some reorganization at some point but i haven't had any chance to like sit down and go through this but this is just everything that's just like a jewel case <laughs> a lot of this used to live on my jewel case shelf my just jewel case shelf which i had like I don't know, maybe two years ago. Not a lot going on here, but I mean, it's functional and it keeps all the jewel cases together. So that's really nice. So this is my last Monstax normal album shelf. This shelf has everything from the rest of one of a kind all the way until Overdrive, which eventually will be the unseen, but um, Overdrive is at the end here right now. And it also includes like Kihan Solo, Juhan Solo, Changyun Solos, and then it will include the Shono and Hyungwon albums whenever I switch out uh, my shelf over there. And then it also has all of the Kino versions and all of the Japanese releases. And I also have like my cassette tape version over here. I have some Polka versions for Changyun's album here. I don't know what I'm gonna do when they release something else next year. I haven't really thought that far in my life, but I think I'll probably try to like push Kihan's Kinos over here in front of the rest of the Kinos to give myself a little more space there. And then after that, I'm not really sure. We'll have to figure it out. But 2024 is probably gonna be a slower year for Monsta X. 2025 will probably be insane, but 2024 is probably gonna be pretty slow. So I'll have some time to figure it out. And then once again, I do have like five versions of No Limit there um, and five versions of Shape of Love because of member posters and things. Um, Reason didn't have any like super large member things and then for like Kihyun and uh, Juhan and Changyun they, they don't have any large things like that. <laughs> All right so this is my second signed album shelf. So this is a lot of like promo albums and albums I've won from like events and things. So yeah we'll go ahead and get started in the front here. So this is my Reason OT5 promo album, and then my Follow OT7 signed album, which is like a prized possession. <laughs> that was another, like, I bought it as like a Christmas gift or a birthday present or something. And then back here, you can see these ones at the end here. So I have my OT7 signed Rush album. I was in a group order, like I said, and I won the raffle for an OT7 signed one, which was very very exciting i was really excited about that and then this is just a promo album from the connect so in the middle here i have my wano signed the code album yes he did in fact sign it upside down <laughs> it's fine uh, and then i have my super junior dne the beat goes on it's one of my favorite k-pop albums of all time and i was able to find a promo for it for a pretty cheap price so i just went ahead and picked it up 
Um, it's a super special album to me, so I'm really, really excited that I have it signed. And then in the back here, like I said, I need some sort of like, some sort of stand or riser or something on the shelf. I have my OT5 Assigned Shape of Love album I won from winning the Universe event. And then I have Kihan signed Fantasia album from uh, M-Wave. And then I have a promo album for Voyager because I didn't do a fan sign during Voyager and I felt sad that I didn't have a signed album. And then I have my OT7 signed We Are Here album and that is from the We Are Here tour. Um, I went to the LA stop and had Ultimate VIP. They only gave the albums to the first 100 people and Katie and I were like in the late 80s, I think. So it was pretty stressful. I was trying to count everybody in front of us and I was like, are we gonna get an album? Um, because we both really wanted the signed album versus the signed poster. I mean, I would have been happy with either, but I love this signed album. They signed it in gold. I think it's so pretty, so. All right, so finally we have the rest of the rainbow shelves. This is the least appealing part of the shelves. I kind of want to change it up so that maybe, like, the rainbow starts one direction on one shelf and then goes the opposite direction on the bottom shelf, especially now since I have things, like, intermixed. But yeah, again, this just has a bunch of random groups on it. There isn't like one specific group. And then I also have my Jin signed The Most Beautiful Moments in Life Part 1 album, which was from the last M-Wave meet and greet signed thing they ever did, I think. It was either Part 1 or Part 2 they stopped doing the signed albums, or it was the last time, but... Anyways, and I also have Busok Soon's Second Wind back there. But yeah, not a lot to say about the shelf, but it is kind of dark. So I think it would be good to reorganize this and have um, more color on the side of the shelf as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just show all three of the bottom shelves at once because they're all the same thing, essentially. So this is where I keep my A4 photo card binders. Um, as you can see, this shelf is very, very full, but yeah, I have been in the process of redecorating the spines of all of my binders. I'm not completely done yet, but I'm definitely getting there. So they used to say like words on them. So you can see like Monstax 3 here and then 17 2 over there. Um, and I'm trying to change them to be just like photos from albums that have, that are like from the groups inside. But yeah, this is so that it's super easy when I go to my shelf while I'm filming sorting photo card videos. I can be like, oh, that's my Stray Kids 2 binder, that's my 17 1 binder, um, my Monster X 4 binder. And you're probably like, how would you know that? <laughs> Just from looking at the spines. Um, and mostly it's because every single spine is an album that's contained within the binder. So, for example, for ATs, it's their most recent album. Or for like, Monster X 2, which is this one right here. I moved it to a white binder recently. Um, for Monster X 2, Fantasia is in that album, and that's a Kihyun Fantasia photo, so um, I know which member is in there. And then over here I have Hyungwon from The Unseen, and that's the Monster X 4 binder because that just has Juhan and Shonu and Hyungwon in it currently. So, and yeah, that's my entire album shelf tour. I do hope you enjoyed. Maybe you got some inspiration from it. Maybe you just thought it was a fun video to watch. Um, whatever your reason may be, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down below which shelf was your favorite. Um, and yeah, I hope you're excited for more end of the year content coming I'm trying to my finals lasted so much longer than I expected So I'm trying to get a bunch of videos up before the year ends So hopefully you're not upset about seeing a couple more posts from me than usual on both channels But yeah, thank you so so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I'll see you very very soon. Bye. Bye